Alright, well hello everybody! Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlemagne's Adventure and Kerbal Space Program! So what is this game? Well, this is a game I've been eyeing for a long time. Uh, probably for a couple years, I think, maybe something like that. I've been eyeing this since it was early access, and now if you look at the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice that it's 1.0.5.1028 so yeah so it's a game that went out of early access successfully and it looks like the developers are continuing to work on the game and going from there so I've been playing the game for about three hours or so so just to get a handle of how things operate and how the game feels the, how the aerodynamics work and just how you know the math works in the game all that fun stuff so I'm not doing any kind of mods or anything on here it's just gonna be straight vanilla and it's gonna be me going through the game on the career mode and so we're just gonna get started here and we're going to start a new scenario I'm gonna use my name of Charlemagne it's gonna be career mode the difficulty options will be normal we're not changing them the flag, there's lots of flags that you can choose from, but I think I am going to pick from this one right here. Just the usual, the default, the Kerbal Space Program logo. And let us start. And of course we're going to overwrite because it exists. And yes, here we are, loading right into the game. I guess I could have been talking during that black moment. Maybe I'll edit it, maybe I'll not. Who knows, maybe you'll see, maybe you won't. <laughs> so what is this game? Well, let's just start and see what it's about. Welcome to the Space Center. Nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kerman, Flight Director and your guy for this quick int introduction. Well, if you want to read it, pause it. Otherwise, we're carrying on. Okay, so this is my understanding of the game. We can move around with WASD. We can use the right mouse button. If you click and hold, we can kind of rotate around this. This is our um, our space, our base. This is where all the magic happens, right? So this is our space center. And yeah, so what do we do first thing? Well, first things first, we can see that we can get contracts. Uh, this is events that occur. This is our money, uh, whatever this is called. This is our reputation and our science. If we go into one in, okay I left clicked on the science area there uh, this is kinda what the science is and basically you start with this science which is you know these kinda brief components of stuff um, can I scroll this up and down uh, no I can't that's interesting so yeah it just kinda tells you about each of these items a mystery goo, the modular girder segment not sure what these are for no idea. We'll have to see how to work those in maybe one time. These are the parachutes, right? So, yeah, I don't know. So this is our first ship, and of course we want to get like basic rocketry, and we want to get engineering 101, so the basic research is five science. And then there's a whole tech tree that we want to kind of pursue, all the way down to like aerospace tech, experimental science, uh, some remote guidance unit. We got thermal electric generator. That's kind of interesting. Ooh. Yeah, cool. See, so lots of stuff to do. Lots of stuff to do. So we'll close that up. Uh, there are the science archives. Let's actually look at all this stuff. So this first episode is going to be relatively boring. It's just going to be me going through all this stuff. Hopefully, I'll get it done in 20 minutes here. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep each episode about 20 minutes. So science archives are basically any kind of information that we got, where we got science from, basically, or where we received science from. So if we you do missions and do science experiments, then that's how we. Ah, I didn't want to left click. I want to right click. <laughs> and you want to do science experiments then yeah um, I right clicked on this to bring this up as you can tell you can only have a hundred limit max uh, you spent and then you have to upgrade it so yeah that's what we'll have to do at some point this is the tracking station 
this allows us to see other things like see patched conics visible in map so there's definitely stuff that we need to you upgrade the tracking station for let's let's left click on it see if we can enter the building oh looks like we can okay oh so this is like the okay okay and the American Viola systems will all your position trajectories of all ongoing missions missions are progress you'll see them listed some contracts may require specific, specific destinations if you want to see the same map ah uh, so it's the map key uh, okay so yeah we can scroll out so Kerbin with the with both moons um, there's Eve there's Moho there's Duna which is probably like Mars there's Dre's Jewel Elu and is that it I think that's it so yeah this is our little solar system here that's kind of cool hey so we have the inner planets, the outer planets. Just keep zooming back into here. Can't wait to start tackling all this stuff and going to places and exploring, even exploring our own planet here. If you can, if you can kind of see this, you can kind of see all this stuff. There's like the polar regions, which will have science, free science to boot. So yeah, all these areas with color. There's a crater here. That's probably an area to explore. I think we are around here somewhere. Where are we? Yeah, we need to put flags down. So anyways, we'll push M to get out of this. Uh, or eggs back. Okay. Okay, back to here. Uh, what's this building? This building is the administration building. So I'm not sure what this is about. We'll have to learn that together. Uh, what's this building? Astronaut complex. So this is how many Kerbals you can have at once. This is where you can also recruit your Kerbals and all that stuff. So all these guys we can recruit if we had 65,000. We only have 25,000. So obviously that's no good. Uh, so we can do time warp. We can increase time or decrease time using the, the period and comma keys. So that's very useful. Um, we have our launch pad here. So obviously we'll need to upgrade. Upgrading will allow larger ships. And then this is, I think, our ship station here. Yeah, our vehicle assembly building. This is our space plane hangar. So, and, ah, uh, okay. Why did the sound just cut out? And right click, this is mission control. So we're gonna enter. This is where we will find missions. So I'm basically gonna do two things. Recover or transmit any signs to, experiment data from Kerbin to achieve this goal. So this is easy one. Basically we can do it right from the cockpit. So you give us a quick crew report before launching. So we'll do that one. So what these missions are for is they give you these kind of things. They give you your money. So they give you an advance. They give you more on completion. And then if you fail then you lose. You also get a science and um, a reputation point. So yeah. So this is this tells you when it expires for you to accept it but then if it doesn't tell you when it expires in general then you have as long as you need to do it right so for example this one uh, doesn't say maybe they changed them not too sure <laughs> so all I know is that I gotta do these two so see so yeah see deadline never see deadline never mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, some missions have deadlines so I think these are just expire when you can pick them up basically so yeah so we're gonna do these two we're gonna to you gather scientific data and we're gonna launch our first vessel so let us do that we got some more money so we're gonna go into our vehicle assembly plant and this is how we build ships you want to read this just pause it okay so we got this cool place um, how do we we can't move around it to place a ship so I just left click on we we can right click to get more info here so we can read up all about this stuff if we so choose it's kind of a little bit buggy as you can tell there's mono propellant in there there's electric charge we can do crew reports okay that's kind of cool it tells us um, on, on what these are the rerunnable and resettable interesting so yeah so here we go so we're gonna build this command pod I just left click on it 
here we go and then we're going to need potentially an engine because we're going to do a launch of a ship maybe or do we even need to do a launch we just need to meet the requirements right so let's just go I don't know, alpha ship one alpha mark one is what we'll call it so just our first ship and will we actually let's try and actually make something that flies so we'll we're gonna add some tanks here we're going to click on these I'm left clicking so see down here you can see there's angle snap and symmetry mode so if I do uh, three let's do three way to oh shoot I can right click left click or I can use I think the C and Z this are the X the X key moves these. Uh, C does this angle snap. So let's do three. Let's do these wings. Doesn't matter really where. So there's that. And I think we can put a parachute on top. And we might as well put a mystery goo for science. Uh, basically, these mystery goo experiments are super important. Uh, they are super important in the sense that it allows us to do science. And science is how we advance the Kerbal program. So what we can do is we can do one reading on the ground and one reading in the air as we're flying potentially with these things. And maybe we can do even a crew report if we are fast enough and get enough air time. So let's see. Let's. I'm going to right click on here. You can control how much fuel you have. You can also limit the thrust here. So that way if it's 100% it will only use 50% of these thrusters. Not sure where you'd use that, but maybe in the world of aerodynamics, there's a spot. So let's save this ship and let us start our first launch. So here you're going to see as it loads, we're going to, I'm going to grab a drink here, excuse me. So here's our launch pad. Basically you can see that it's our launch pad. And so I'm going to zoom in here, I'm going to right click on the crew hatch going to do crew report okay we're going to keep the data perfect and we're going to do a mystery goo experiment we're going to right click and left click on that and you see the experiment perfect the goo doesn't seem to be doing much but we get three science out of this or a recovery three science so obviously we will be able to recover now to launch it's oh look at it. we don't have a stage we should make sure we have two stages had I launched, both things would have triggered and we would have gone into a big crazy spin. Um, F5 to quick save. So I'm quick saving so we can restart right here on the launch pad. And T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Launch! Boom! And I'm just, I'm not even touching the controller. Just letting it, it do its thing. Letting it gain altitude. Watching the the fuel level here. I'm gonna right click on there. Now we're out of fuel. I'm gonna right click on the mystery goo here. I'm gonna get ready to take a reading here. As soon as the space, let's go map. Let's just take a look at our orbit. Once we get to the 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 apoapsis, <laughs> which is the highest point, then we shall. Uh, yeah. I should have maybe moved it a bit. That's okay though. So to turn on SAS, I think it's the T key, which is very useful to keep us stable. Okay, so now since we are up here, we can right click on this, go observe mystery glue. See, perfect. This is a seven signs there. And if we could click on here, or right click on here, let's do a crew report. Um, cancel. I guess we can only do one crew report. Okay, well that's interesting. Uh, turn on SAS. I guess we have the this thing, right? So ah ah, look at Jeb Badaya, our wonderful guy. Well, that's fine. We'll we'll just uh, yeah, we'll just. We'll start the off doing the this thing. We should be okay with the height. I might have deployed it too soon, but uh, I apologize for that. 
let me let's see if we can control our descent here. Uh, yeah, look at that. It's kind of working, kind of not. Let's see if I can kind of control how we are traveling. We're going too fast. This is going to break. Come on, come on. Come on, folks. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Please, 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 we need to survive. Jeb needs to survive this. Otherwise, then we'll have to load it again and change. But I think we should be okay. This might be going too fast, but we'll find out right here. Ooh. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Wang. Perfect. Safe and sound. Hopefully, can I push to it this way? That's okay. We're going to land. Exciting stuff. And here we go. Here's our first successful launch right at our spaceport here. Or spaceport, whatever you want to call it. Space center. Amazing stuff. So, yeah. So, I imagine that we're going to do some more missions. So, let's take a quick peek at some more missions here. And I'm just kind of peeking at the time. Now, each of these areas here are different biomes uh, you know, here you know biomes in this game allow you to do research and everything so yeah so here we bang we landed nothing broke can we do an another can we do another crew report uh, no okay can I um, EVA out I don't think I can so yeah so that's it we're done to get out of this you basically move your mouse up here and click on recover vessel or we can just go to the space center. Um, how do we do that? Yeah, right here we can click on that to go to space center and start a new mission or whatever. But let's go recover vessel. And then as this loads, you'll see that we'll return back to here. And here this will tell us what happened. We earned 24 science in total. You know, and so it just tells us the gather. So your crew report from launch pad, Mr. Goo observation while flying at Kerbin, Mr. Goo observation from launch pad, recovery of a vessel that survived a flight. So yeah, so that all gave us science. We recovered a bunch of parts, um, some fuel, some mono pro uh, propellant, and we recovered our our uh, our Jebediah, our, our our pilot, right? And next, next, done. Perfect. Now we're back here. This just tells us the events that occurred. The contract was complete. Uh, see, launch your first vessel. Why did that close that? This is launch your first vessel and world first milestones. Whole bunch of milestones here that we've got. So that's more money. So now we have 108,000. So now what do we do? Well, we completed two missions, two contracts. So I think we achieved this stuff. So now let's left click on this to see. Yeah, no more contracts all done. So now let's see what we can do. Uh, let's see, conduct. So these ones, you require you to use a plane. We don't have the parts for a plane yet. Yeah, same with that. Same with that. I have a Mark 16 parachute. 2008, 2062. We want to use a hull and to fly above Kerbin. Interesting. So basically, we need to be flying with this. And as we're flying, we need to be in this range. And then we need to be within this speed and deploy it, I think. So almost a re entry would be required. Like, for you to fly up, and then as you're returning. This is, would be the case, but as a stack decoupler, the form test uh, the part through the staging sequence when all test conditions are met. So test the stack decoupler. So right on the launch site. So we can do this one actually. So let's do th this one. Maybe we can do the parachute one as well. Okay, well let's actually go into the research facility here. We're going to use our hard-earned research. I'm going to get engineering. 
because we get a science junior, which is kind of like a science experiment we can do. We have the commutatron 16, which is a data transmitter for later. And then we have this stack decoupler, which we'll need. So we'll do the research because there's no stack decouplers here. Now with this one, we get an engine, a, a hammer solid fuel booster, and a fuel tank. But what we also would need is this stuff. Um, is it this stuff? Service bay, micro landing strut, heat shield. No, no, this is what we need right here. This radial decoupler. Because this allows us to fly and go further. So maybe I'm going to purchase this right away instead of getting the basic. Actually, no, we need basic rocketry. Requires any. So can I click research? Oh yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So I guess that's what we did. <laughs> this stuff here, we will research next. But I think with what we have to test the parachute, we should be able to use the same vehicle. Because we stayed within 160, if you notice, 180. Um, and I think if we kind of stay lower to the ground, we'll be able to... Yeah, I think we'll be able to have better control over that science. So if we go into the archives here just to show you, see this shows you the value, right? So basically if we keep doing these, the value will get less and less and less, right? So in other situations, landed. Crew report from launch pads. We can do crew report from the you know, over. And then we can do the mystery goo. Um, yeah, we did mystery goo flying low and from launch pad. Okay. Hmm. So what mission do we want? I think we'll do the stack decoupler since we have that one. And I'm going to do the parachute. We're going to give that one a shot. Right? Now... We have our ship that we have, right? So I'm going to load the ship up. Let's see how we can. So we have this Mark. This is the Mark 16, I think. Yeah, so we already have that. Okay. So no big deal on that. We got a science bay here. So let's actually. I'm going to click on this to disassemble it. And I'm going to click on this and move it into here. I'm going to attach this to the bottom. And we're going to, I think we're going to move these bad boys, um, let's do four of them actually, angle snap, we're actually going to move them kind of right, right here now. Okay, so this is the still same rocket, we've got two mystery goo containers here, uh, let's see here, fuel tanks, I'm just kind of checking, so we got these radio decouplers. What's our contracts? We need test the stack decoupler at the launch site. Okay, that's easy. Stack decoupler. We're going to put this right on the bottom here. <laughs> Looks kind of funny, but it'll make sense right on the launch pad. And have MK6 Kerbin Flying 2008. So we're going to try and complete that one with this mission. We have the two mystery goo. We probably don't need it for this launch. Um actually let's keep it in case where we land that's where we can use it let's the lower okay two of those is there any other sciencey things we can take commutron i don't want to really transmit okay so this is now a mark two unit so let's click save and let us click launch i need to set up the <laughs> The um, <laughs> these things need to say, actually no we're okay with this okay so let us launch so we're gonna l fire this stage so that's tested right and then now this one we're gonna launch woo okay we're gonna kind of go kind of in a direction okay so remember can we throttle down? 
Oh, it doesn't matter. So 2,000 to 8,000, right? Speed, 60 to 250. So we got the speed, but we're going up. So we'll hopefully, uh, okay. You're going to land in the water, and I don't know if I want to do that. So we're going to do the science experiment right now. Observe Materials Bay. Perfect. That should survive. We're going to keep this data. We should do a crew report up here, since we did not do that. Crew report. Keep data. Okay. Perfect. Now we're coming down. Now speed's going up. I don't know if I like that. Can we slow our speed down here? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, how fast do we need to be? Okay, we should survive, I hope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire this now. Uh, hopefully it slows us down. It's a little bit fast. Oh, man. Oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Gonna kind of go back and forth. Kind of try and like every time it hits, you'll notice it slows down. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Because I don't want it going too fast. Don't want it to break. And I don't want this. Oh, crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, look, look. We're almost here. We're going to land on the beach. That's cool that is cool so there we go so I think we completed the tests both tests which is awesome and at the end of this we're gonna complete the episode so we can actually speed up time here oh no yeah okay we understand I'm just kinda speeding it up here so we hurry bang going back to normal and we land on the surface we should be okay with our speed and boom, we went. Oh, shoot! <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Uh, let's do a mystery goo here, maybe? Will we get science? Yeah, we'll get science. Let's keep that near the water. That's cool. So, can we do a crew report or we'll have to keep the. Uh, no, we'll keep the crew report. Perfect, and I think that's it. So, we will recover the vessel. And that is that. So hopefully all of you have enjoyed this episode. Tried to keep it interesting. We got 31 signs in this one. Looks like we covered some parts. And we recovered our crew, which is important. Voila. Okay, so what's this? Ah, cool. We might be able to pick that up one day. That's cool. Those are the wing pieces that fell off. Looks like there's trees in the distance there. Cool. Cool. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.